A healthcare AI system designed to recommend patient treatment plans has been found to suggest less aggressive treatments for patients from certain demographic groups. Which steps should be taken to address this form of algorithmic bias? A. Increase the amount of demographic data used by the system to enhance its accuracy. B. Conduct a bias audit on the dataset and algorithms, adjusting for equitable treatment recommendations. C. Focus on improving the user interface to make it easier for doctors to override the system's recommendations. D. Implement a faster update cycle for the AI system to rapidly evolve its decision-making capabilities. Correct answer. B. Conduct a bias audit on the dataset and algorithms, adjusting for equitable treatment recommendations. An AI-driven recruitment tool has been utilized by a multinational corporation to streamline its hiring process. Post-implementation, reports indicate that the tool significantly lowers interview invitations for candidates above a certain age. How should the company proceed? A. Restrict the AI tools used to initial screening processes only, leaving final decisions to human recruiters. B. Initiate a comprehensive review of the tool's training data and algorithms to identify and correct age-related biases. C. Increase the diversity of the recruitment team to mitigate the tool's biased outcomes. D. Focus on public relations efforts to counteract any negative perception arising from the tool's use. Correct answer. B. Initiate a comprehensive review of the tool's training data and algorithms to identify and correct age-related biases. An AI system deployed in public transportation predicts maintenance needs to prevent service interruptions. However, it disproportionately flags vehicles servicing lower income areas for maintenance, leading to frequent service disruptions. What corrective action should be prioritized? A. Reallocate vehicles to ensure equal disruption across all areas. B. Review and adjust the AI's predictive model to eliminate socioeconomic bias in maintenance predictions. C. Increase the number of vehicles in lower income areas to compensate for the disruptions. D. Implement manual checks to supplement the AI system's maintenance predictions. Correct answer. B. Review and adjust the AI's predictive model to eliminate socioeconomic bias in maintenance predictions. A financial services company uses an AI application to personalize investment advice for its clients. It's observed that the tool's recommendations tend to favor high-risk investments for younger clients and conservative investments for older clients, without adequate explanation or consideration of individual risk tolerance. What action is most appropriate to align the tool's operation with ethical AI principles? A. Develop a user interface that allows clients to adjust their risk tolerance settings manually. B. Undertake a revision of the AI model to ensure it accounts for a comprehensive range of client risk profiles and preferences. Correct answer. B. Undertake a revision of the AI model to ensure it accounts for a comprehensive range of client risk profiles and preferences. In an effort to reduce electricity consumption, a city deploys an AI system to optimize street lighting based on pedestrian and vehicle movement patterns. Post-deployment analysis reveals that lighting is significantly reduced in neighborhoods with higher crime rates, raising safety concerns. What is the most ethical approach to rectify this situation? A. Increase overall street lighting in all areas to ensure uniform brightness. B. Adjust the AI system to prioritize human safety over energy savings in its optimization calculations. C. Conduct a public survey to determine the optimal balance between safety and energy savings. D. Implement additional security measures in areas affected by reduced lighting. Correct answer. B. Adjust the AI system to prioritize human safety over energy savings in its optimization calculations. An online retail giant uses an AI tool for dynamic pricing, which adjusts prices based on customer behavior and demand. Investigation reveals that prices tend to be higher for users in wealthier zip codes. To address potential fairness concerns, what should the company do? A. Standardize prices across all zip codes, ignoring demand fluctuations. B. Revise the AI pricing model to ensure that it does not inadvertently penalize customers based on socioeconomic status. C. Offer coupons to customers in higher priced zip codes to equalize the cost difference. D. Increase transparency about how prices are determined without altering the AI model. Correct answer. B. Revise the AI pricing model to ensure that it does not inadvertently penalize customers based on socioeconomic status. A city implements an AI-driven traffic management system to optimize traffic flow and reduce congestion. However, the system tends to prioritize routes frequently used by commercial traffic over those used by residential commuters, leading to increased travel times for the latter. Which measure should be taken to ensure the equitable operation of the system? A. Reconfigure the AI system to give equal priority to all types of traffic. B. Introduce manual overrides that traffic managers can use during peak residential commuting hours. C. Conduct an impact assessment to identify and mitigate unintended biases in the system's algorithms. D. Encourage residents to adjust their commuting times to when the to predict thirst ingestion. Correct answer. C. Conduct an impact assessment to identify and mitigate unintended biases in the system's algorithms.
A social media platform uses AI to curate and recommend content to its users. Analysis indicates that the algorithm disproportionately amplifies content with sensationalist headlines, contributing to misinformation. What is the most responsible course of action for the platform? A. Limit the AI's use to non-news content to avoid spreading misinformation. B. Adjust the recommendation algorithm to prioritize content veracity and diversity of viewpoints. C. Increase human moderation of content recommendations to filter out sensationalist headlines. D. Implement a user feedback feature to report misleading content, relying on community policing. Correct answer. B. Adjust the recommendation algorithm to prioritize content veracity and diversity of viewpoints. An AI-driven platform for loan approvals has been reported to have a higher approval rate for applications submitted in English compared to those in other languages. This has raised concerns about linguistic bias. How should the company address this issue? A. Translate all non-English applications into English before processing B. Perform a comprehensive review of the training data and model to ensure language neutrality in the approval process C. Encourage applicants to submit their applications in English for faster processing D. Outsource the review of non-English applications to human experts. Correct answer. B. Perform a comprehensive review of the training data and model to ensure language neutrality in the approval process. A facial recognition system used for security purposes in an international airport has been found to misidentify individuals of certain ethnicities at a higher rate than others, leading to false positives. What immediate action should the airport authority take? I. Temporarily suspend the use of facial recognition technology until the accuracy issues are resolved. B. Increase the diversity of the image dataset used to train the facial recognition system to improve its accuracy across all ethnicities. C. Implement additional manual security checks for individuals who are misidentified by the system. D. Restrict the use of facial recognition technology to high-risk areas within the airport only. Correct answer. B. Increase the diversity of the image dataset used to train the facial recognition system to improve its accuracy across all ethnicities.